like this, but... There is a, a lot of debate and argument about whether the timing right now as we're emerging from uh, the pandemic and hopefully in, in, in this year uh, put it behind us that um, you know, business that businesses that were already struggling because of the lockdowns and, and everything else will have a hard time raising the wage. The fight for a $15 min an hour minimum wage was seen as radical when it took off in 2012, but now President-elect Joe Biden also supports the hike. The federal minimum wage is not going up, though. It hasn't risen since 2009, and it still stands at $7.25 an hour. In New Jersey, a title for county-level officials the critics call racist and outdated has been dropped. As Joe Hernandez from member station WBGO reports, a new state law banning the term freeholder takes effect today. The word freeholder dates back to the era before the Revolutionary War when only white male landowners who were free of debt could hold public office. Critics of the title, including many Garden State elected officials, call it an example of structural racism. Under a state law taking effect this year, county-level officials will now be called county commissioners, like in many other states. New Jersey was the last state in the country to use the term freeholder. For NPR News, I'm Joe Hernandez. Wall Street is closed today for the New Year's celebration. This is NPR. Good afternoon. At 432, I'm Tom McDonald, WHYY News. Hundreds of mummers defied a city order canceling their iconic parade to take to the streets of South Philadelphia today. WHYY's Miles Bryan was there. Mayor Jim Kenney canceled the long-standing New Year's Day event last summer out of fear it would increase the spread of coronavirus. Parade organizers supported that move, but many mummers came out today anyway. Patrick McLaughlin justified the mass gathering as being in the same vein as the large, mostly peaceful Black Lives Matter protest that occupied city streets through much of the summer. People got away with worse stuff this year. There's riots and nonsense. As long as everybody behaves, it's going to be a good time. Mummers critics say it's ridiculous to make comparisons to the fight for racial justice. The Scofflaw Mummers, many not wearing masks, styled their celebrations as a protest, which gave them First Amendment cover. Miles Bryan, WHYY News. At the same time, the city of Philadelphia is concerned about a holiday spike of coronavirus cases, just as the Thanksgiving spike has died down. WHYY's Alan Two reports. Philadelphia Health Commissioner Dr. Thomas Farley says he is concerned that people who gathered for Christmas and New Year's Eve could become part of the next wave of coronavirus cases. We will begin to see the effect of people traveling and visiting with people over the Christmas holiday in the next few days. And we'll begin to see the effect of any of New Year's gatherings at the end of next week. News. City, New Jersey, looking at 43 degrees. At 435, I'm Tom McDonald, WHYY News.